Hey guys, welcome to day 198 of my carnivore journey. Hope you're having a good journey. If not, let me know about it in the comments. But guys, uh, thank you for joining me. Uh, this is my daily vlog, my daily diary, if you will. Um, other than recently missing some days, but I do, I am trying to get back to daily. So, but for the first six months, I was daily. Come on, you got to admit. Today, I ended up not having lunch. I, I just, I worked. I didn't have lunch. And then uh, around five o'clock, I was just like starving. I was like, oh my God. I mean, I actually was like hungry and I was craving meat. And I was funny, I was just talking to my roommate about this. He's like in the beginning, you know, month of like um, carnivore and he's, you know, sort of like on the fence about meat right now and, and the taste of meat, you know. But again, as, as your body gets wanting and craving more meat because that's what's going to make you ultimately feel the best and i was definitely craving meat but i had picked up some steaks that were you know reasonably priced and i found while i was there they had lobster yeah they had lobster tails for like seven bucks or whatever and i thought hey that's not a bad deal so i picked one out and had steak and lobster. Um, so fancy, fancy tonight. Um, came out really good, though. I basically prepped the, the lobster tail and like got the meat out, salted, buttered. Um, I didn't do the other type of stuff that you might do with a, a lobster, like seasoning wise. But I did do the salt and butter. And then, of course, my steak was just salt and butter. So the reason why, like, if I do go lion diet, I probably will still keep the butter. Um, only because a lot of the steaks that I have to eat are, like, top sirloin, things like that. They haven't been having a lot of chuck steaks here lately. So, you know, when it comes to fat ratio... I need to add some butter to my steaks as well because top sirloin, they don't have a lot of huge, huge amounts of fat. So um, I will have to probably do that if I do go lion uh, diet in the future. But anyways, steak and lobster tonight, guys. The lobster came out perfect. I, I baked it in the oven. Like after I prepped it, I did the salt, did the butter, and I am baking in the oven at 400 degrees. I did it for 15 minutes. After it was preheated, checked the temps. It was I was still at like 130. So put it back in the oven for like three more minutes, took it out. It was at 140. I was able to take that out and add it to the plate. And again, my steak, I let my steak rest. That's why in the picture there was a lot more juices on the plate. I wish I would have been able to like have the steak and the lobster all exactly the same time. And then that way the picture would have came out even better, but that's okay. All those buttery juices made for a great dipping sauce for the lobster. Of course, the lobster was good itself. And that was kind of my little treat. Again, it was on sale. It was seven bucks for the whole tail. So I was happy. You know, it was a good little treat. Um, and, and you should do that every once in a while. You know, you should treat yourself every once in a while. And, you know, again, as long as it's in the carnivore lane, Hey, knock yourself out every once in a while. You know, there's there's no right or wrong way if you're if you're and like Dr. Barry says, anywhere from keto to carnivore, and as far as like extreme part of carnivore lion diet, right? I think you have to watch out for the for certain things. And I think you have to know who you are. So for me, for example, I can't do keto. You know, I fail at keto all the time. So for me, keto is not a lifestyle. Now, can I dip my toes into keto? Yes. For example, when I did the pizza, right? I had the sauce was tomatoes, right? It was tomato sauce that I made um, from scratch. So I didn't add anything else other than what was in the tomatoes, right? But still, that was technically keto. So, with that being said, all right, I got kind of an annoying little 
You know how you, sometimes you get like an annoying little gnat or something that comes in from outside? I got a stupid gnat flying around trying to get mess with my coffee, so I don't want to find them in my coffee. You know what I mean? I had to cover it up. But you know how like, um, so like I said, I can dip my toes in the keto every so often for things like that. What I, what I mean by what I can't do keto is that a, a part of keto is like when you start getting into like stevia and uh, what is it? Ur Uritol, erythritol, xylitol, stuff like that. Monk fruit. I can't do sweeteners um, because those sweeteners trigger me into the real thing. It's, it's definitely a stepping sto stone to the real sugar. You know, I, I just can't. I can't do that i don't i don't want to do that i have to completely abstain from carbs and sugar that's me i have to completely abstain now you know do i get small amount of carbs through a little bit of the cheese and stuff i have from time to time yes but i'm talking about pasta bread you know all the those type of real major heavy carbs so like I said, I could dip my toes into keto every once in a while, but for the most part, I feel the best when I'm on carnivore, BBB and E is kind of my main thing. And then I've been leaning more toward a lion diet. But if I just operate within that BBB and E, I'm happy. I love eggs still. I love bacon, uh, but I don't eat bacon as often as I used to. But I've been loving steaks. You know, steaks have been really in in the ground beef it's okay but it it pales in comparison to steak for me and you know as you guys know when i first started i couldn't even afford i was trying to figure out how to to to, to price out carnivore and i learned how to eat cheap and a lot of it was through ground beef but now as i've gone further and i'm eating less bacon i'm eating less eggs i'm eating less you know, those other things that actually goes toward making up that little bit of difference between a five and a half dollars a pound of ground beef, which means one of my meals was costing me five, five and a half bucks to now eight bucks or seven bucks. You know, the steaks I bought were range, range anywhere from six something to eight, eight bucks. So for that extra couple dollars, you know, um, that I'm maybe not eating in bacon or other things. You know what I mean? So I was able to offset some of that cost. And I think that's important um, for, for some of you that are watching. Um, you know, it's okay to stray in the lanes of carnivore, ketivore, and, uh, you know, carniv yeah, carnivore, ketivore, carnivore. Wait, whatever I said, keto, ketivore, carnivore. I'll get it. Uh, the, the other thing I want to say is too, is keto watch out because there's like a consumer version where you're, if, if, uh, two thirds of the stuff in your house, I think is what Dr. Barry was saying. Two thirds of the stuff in your house is actually labeled keto, like an actual keto product. He's like, you need to get rid of that stuff. Eating true keto is going to be similar to, you know, it's eating whole foods. It's not eating a bunch of artificially made keto friendly foods. So that's, that's kind of where I think a lot of people also get misled by keto is they, they, um, they go to the store like, Oh, Hey, this is keto friendly. Oh, look at this muffin, this chocolate muffin. It's keto friendly. You know, Hey, look at this, look at that. And then they buy all these keto products and really in all, in all seriousness, they're still taking in a ton of chemicals. This little gnat is ticking me off. Uh, sorry about that. But, um, but you know, like when gnats get around and get on you and you don't want to suck it in, you know, you know what I mean? That sucks. Like, <gasps> you know, nobody likes taking in gnats and he's like buzzing around me right now. Like not buzzing because gnats don't really buzz. They're just annoying. You know, keep seeing them out of the corner of your eye and they get down by your, you know what I mean? Sorry. Just going off on my little gnat tangent. Uh, anyways, but guys, um, uh, but yeah, keto, man, just, just stay away from all the fake stuff. If you're going to do keto, I would personally, if it was me, the only form of keto I, I could see myself really doing is more of the form of, well, kind of like what I'm doing, more ketovore. I, I can't see myself going back to any kind of sweeteners. 
I, I really can't. Uh, I don't know. I just can't because I know I know me. And when I make one exception, I start making 1.1 exceptions and then 1.3 exceptions and then 1.9 exceptions and then three exceptions. It just scales up. So that's really about all I had to say today is just um, just just going off on my own little tangent. I hope that helps anybody that's watching. And I hope you have a great dinner. But guys, I love you. Like I always say in every video, I love you guys. You guys are really what keep me going. And thank you all so much. And don't forget two things, right? One, please go and support my friend, uh, the Carnivore Tales, you know, my roommate. Um, you know, like I said, he needs all the comments and, and help he can get. You know, give him give him critique if you have to nicely. And the other thing is, of course, allcarnivoreinfo.com. Guys, please um, continue to submit suggestions, things like that, guys. We really, I, wa I really want to get this website bigger and better, and and just I really want to build this up and and have it an, an ultimate tool for carnivores. But all right, guys, we'll see you later. We'll see you tomorrow for day one ninety nine. We're getting there, aren't we? Bye.